Thank you. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, I'll, All right, Director Guy, come on, bring, take us down memory no, road no, here. No, 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 I just, just, you know, I, it's been an honor and a privilege um, to serve on this Board of Education and to serve the public of Oakland. And I just want to thank each one of you. Uh, I know sometimes, you know, um, we had our great moments and we had our, our challenging moments. Uh, but I think it, it's been an opportunity. I'll, I'm going to continue to be even closer to you now that I'm at a at a different, across the street, I should say, or down the street. Uh, but um, but I saw all of you that are here, I, you know, I, I, uh, I thank you, the voters of my district and the city of Oakland. I'm extremely grateful for the permission that you have given me to serve or continue to represent you. And, uh, and I'm, not, you know, I'm, I'm going to continue to be real close. So I, um, I believe in Oakland and I think it's, um, Oakland's a great place, and I've been talking to Gary. I mean, I spend all morning long with the Port of Oakland, you know, listening to their strategic plan, and they do have one. Uh, I don't think the city of Oakland has one yet, but they will have one, and hopefully it, it kind of joins with what you're trying to do here at the school district. So I am, uh, you know, again, it's an honor and a privilege to work with each one of you. We're going to get a little closer, but at a different level. And I'm not going to forget the kids of Oakland, because um, we all know that, that you know, safety, uh, a clean city, and certainly the, the creating jobs for our kids is really uh, the key to making Oakland grow. And, and you hold, perhaps, the, the key to doing that. And that is the education, the training, and what Gary's trying to do. And, and I see the competition that our kids are facing, and certain, a couple of the charter schools alluded to that. It's not really competing in Oakland with each other. Uh, I've seen my, my youngsters graduate from the universities, and their competition is fierce, you know, from, from youngsters from all over the world. And I'll leave you with this, that if you look at Oakland, who's moving into West Oakland? <laughs> who's coming into District 5, the Fruitvale area? And even in the Jingletown area, that's being developed, homes are being bought, homes are being redevelopment, and it's a, a new population, a new generation coming to live in Oakland. And that's what, that's what a Crocker's experiencing, right? And so when you look at, you know, you look at downtown, I mean, you and I went to that uh, Oakland uh, murmur, right? You see the face, the, the young artists, the entrepreneurs, uh, those that have the technology skills, they're the ones that are growing Oakland. And I think that, that, that our youngsters need to be able to, to, and ready to compete because that's going to be the Oakland of tomorrow. And even, and I'll leave you with this last example, if you look at the old Tribune building, and all of us that grew up here in Oakland know the old Tribune building. If you walk into the Tribune building today, it's all gutted out, and they're doing it for three reasons. One is they're, they're going to do the incubators, the businesses, the startups, and the callback centers. And they're gonna rely on you to provide the entry level youngster to be part of the callback center. Because the callback centers are coming back to the US. You may say, well, that's just entry level, but it's at least an opportunity for our kids to do something. And I think you see a lot of that in my district, the Tribune building and throughout the city of Oakland, because no longer will we have to call India, China, or other, for other services, the, those kids in our own neighborhoods will be able to do the same work. And so it's exciting. And so I'm glad to continue to join you. Thank you. Thank you.